Hi everyone, sorry about that. We're going to give it another try. Um, there was a little glitch somewhere along the way, so we will try it again. And thank you for joining me or watching the replay. What I'm talking about today is our loose embellishments. So what, what do I mean by that? It means any embellishments that come like this. Now they're wonderful, fabulous for shaker cards, but what if you wanted to use them as an embellishment on a card? So I was making this card right here. So where, where am I getting these things? These are from the new online exclusive products. There's this, there's this one right here. This is called Irresistible Blooms. It's a bundle and these are called the Loose Frosted Dots. They are gorgeous. They come in Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight and Pretty Peacock, but obviously they would go with any number of things. The only thing to be aware of that at the time that I'm making this video, this is actually sold out. It's been so popular, but there are, there's more coming in, so we'll just wait and see. If you want to see the online exclusives, remember go to my website and click on the online exclusives right there. But let's say you wanted to use these not on a shaker in a shaker card, but as an embellishment. What could you do? First off, your multi-purpose liquid glue is your best friend. And often I will just put a little dab wherever I want the embellishment. Then use my take your pick tool, pick it up and pop it down. But some of these embellishments here, let me just shake some out into the lid, are really tiny. And look at how tiny those ones are. So just little, little, cute little guys. So obviously the glue is going to ooze out. So what is another option? And this is what I have found that works well for me. What I do is I take my silicone mat and I just put some little dabs of glue, like just little dots. If Whoops, that's way too much. I'll take a bit of that and put it here and a bit more of it and put it here. Um, so there we go. Just the tinier, the better. And once you get going, you can get some real tiny dots, just like that. And I will do a whole bunch of those. Then I will bring in my take your pick tool and I'm going to use the putty end, but I'm also going to take this end off and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to shake some of these into the lid just so I can see them better. And I'm going to pick up one and put it down in that glue dot and pick up another one. Let's get it right way up and put it, it down. Well, let's, let's just use our fingers. There we go. And put it down. And if it sticks, I use this to push it off because often my fingers are sticky. And I do that and I can nudge it back in and all that extra goo glue that's sitting around there, I don't have to worry about it because they um, it's not going to transfer to my project. So here's one of the little itty bitty ones. So let's pick that up and put it down in a glue dot and use that. And we just keep doing that. Then you want it to dry. Now, I let mine if I'm patient, um, I like to let mine dry even overnight. Um, it, you might not have that option and it still will work. But let me bring in some that I have dried overnight on here. So you can see here they are. These ones have dried overnight. These ones have just been drying for, oh, maybe 20 minutes or I don't think quite half an hour. Let me just put these away. So let me use the overnight ones first, right here. And I want to just decorate this, just add a little bit. So I'm going to bring this one here in and put it in the center of this flower. Here's another nice tiny, oh, that one's yellow. I was looking for pink. That's why I did some extras. So it, they come in three sizes. I should put that back down just for a minute and bring it up. 
Each of them come in three sizes, so you've got that variation there. So we're going to bring in this one. Now this one hasn't dried quite as long, and so you see a little bit sticking out, but it's still going to work. And I'm going to put that right there. And this one, oh, oh, right there. And just like that, we have them there without the glue oozing out. So once, once I've let them dry, um, to store them, I bring in the tail end, the used part of our, my mini glue dots or the used part of my dimensionals because they've both got a surface that releases, right? So you can see here I've got some stored and I'll just pick up some more and store them like that. And I keep it small so that it will actually fit back in the container. So the next time I go to use, they're all set. I didn't push that one down and it popped off. But there, there is a way that you can turn your loose embellishments into um, adhesive-backed embellishments. So where else can you find loose embellishments? So there are these ones that hopefully will be back soon. But if you look in the annual catalog, we have some other ones and you might have them. So right here on page 141, we have the for everything fancy sequins. So there are all kinds of loose sequins. Again, so this is what they look like in real life. Um, these are perfect for shaker cards, that kind of thing. But if you want to use them embellishments, now you know an easy way to do it. Uh, some other ones that we have are these ones here. This is number six. So we look down here, the sparkle and shine sequence. So again, some more loose embellishments that you could easily turn into adhesive backed um, embellishments and use them on your projects just like this. This was just a quick, easy card to show you how to do that. So thank you for my, so much. Oh, Karen, you said great project for watching TV. It is. Or listening to a podcast or whatever. Perfect project and you could get a whole bunch of them done. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.